Have you ever wondered how signal jammers work? Signal jammers, as the name suggests, are devices designed to block signals from various sources. They come in different types, each tailored to disrupt a specific kind of signal. Some common types include mobile phone jammers, Wi-Fi jammers, and GPS jammers. Each one serves the same basic function, to interrupt and impede the communication between a device and its network. Now that you have an idea about what signal jammers are, let's dive into the inner workings of these intriguing devices. So, how does a signal jammer work? The answer lies in the fundamental principle of signal transmission. Let's start from the beginning. In the world of communications, devices like your mobile phone or Wi-Fi router work by transmitting and receiving signals over specific frequencies. Think of these frequencies as invisible highways in the air, each one carrying different kinds of information. Now, enter the signal jammer. Think of it as a rogue vehicle on these highways. Instead of following the rules and staying in its lane, it swerves wildly across multiple lanes, causing chaos and disruption. You see, a signal jammer operates by sending out its own signal on the same frequency as the one it aims to block. This is akin to two people trying to have a conversation, but a third person steps in and starts shouting nonsensical words, making it impossible for the original conversation to continue. But how does the signal jammer signal prevail over the original one? The secret is in the strength of the signal. The high-powered signal from the jammer simply overpowers the original signal. It's like trying to listen to a whisper while someone else is blaring a horn right next to you. The result? The devices trying to communicate on the jammed frequency can't hear each other over the jammer's cacophony. This causes a disruption in the communication or in some cases a complete blockage. It's important to note that signal jammers don't discriminate. They block all signals on the targeted frequencies regardless of their origin. So, if a jammer is blocking a frequency used by mobile phones it won't care whether that signal is coming from your grandmother's phone or a top-secret government device. In essence, a signal jammer acts like a bully on the playground, shouting louder than everyone else to drown out their voices. A signal jammer is a powerful tool but like any tool, its use comes with responsibility and potential consequences. But we'll dive into that in the next part of our discussion. While the working of signal jammers is fascinating it's crucial to understand their uses and legal implications. Signal jammers, as the name suggests, are devices designed to interrupt or completely halt the function of wireless signals. They can be used in a variety of practical applications. Picture a high-stakes business meeting where it's crucial to prevent any potential eavesdropping. Or, consider a cinema, where the glow of a smartphone can disrupt the movie-going experience. In these settings, signal jammers can ensure a distraction-free environment. Moreover, on a more personal level, signal jammers can be used to block GPS signals thereby providing a layer of privacy against potential tracking. However, while these uses may seem beneficial, it's important to remember that the misuse of these devices can lead to serious consequences. For instance, jammers can disrupt emergency services or hinder law enforcement's ability to respond promptly, potentially putting lives at risk. That's why the legal aspects surrounding signal jammers are stringent and detailed. In many countries it is illegal to use or possess a signal jammer without proper authorization. Penalties for violation can range from hefty fines to imprisonment, depending on the severity of the disruption caused. It's crucial to understand these legal aspects before considering the use of a signal jammer. Remember, while signal jammers can be useful, they must be used responsibly and within the bounds of the law. Now that we've covered the working uses and legal aspects of signal jammers, let's quickly recap. Signal jammers, in essence, are devices that manipulate the frequency spectrum. They work by emitting a more powerful signal on the same frequency as the one they're designed to disrupt. This interference drowns out or jams the original signal, preventing it from reaching its destination. These devices have a variety of applications, from maintaining privacy and security in sensitive areas to preventing unwanted distractions in public spaces. However, their use isn't without contention. It's crucial to remember that while they serve useful purposes, the misuse of signal jammers can lead to legal repercussions. In many jurisdictions, their use is regulated or outright prohibited without proper authorization. And there you have it. That's how signal jammers work. Remember, knowledge is power, but always use it responsibly.